Hey Sag, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eilina. We're going to tap into what you need to know right now. Um, I just kind of felt called back to you guys, so um, that's why we're here. And I do feel like Spirit is going to talk more about this playfulness, okay? This having more faith in what you cannot see right now, all right? Um, that's just, just been heavy on my energy as far as when it comes to you guys. And I feel like y'all out of everybody have been like kind of calling me back so let's go ahead and tap in and see what is going to come out what it is you need to know right now of course i'm going to pull an oracle and we'll read the short interpretation and then we will break it down okay i appreciate you guys being here allow me to read for you please don't forget to hit the like button comment subscribe and share with your other saggy friends okay all right so let's tap in Okay, for such. Okay, here we go. Okay, we have Sweetheart here with the number 20. Let's get into a little bit of that energy, number 20 or two. Okay, you've known, oh, child, you have known violence in your life, maybe on the outside. Maybe on the inside with a mind that has tortured you with fear, shame, darkness, and doubt. Enough of that now. It is time for a gentler way. Less pain, more gain. No more torture. It's your time for sweets and treats. This is like literally right on theme with everything that um has been in the cards for y'all said everything that's been in the energy for y'all so now i feel like spirits are okay i want you to come back here let's break this down a little bit more like let's go underneath that what is like stopping the new beginning or what is you know this fear that spirit is saying has developed over time this wasn't something you were born with because a lot of you are coming back into dreams and realizations and inspirations you used to have when you were a kid. It, it reminds me of like when you, I don't know if you guys have ever, you know, went down this line of thinking or had conversations like, you know, you notice when kids first get here, they have a lot of clear knowledge of the life they previously had, like the past life when they're first here. But then as time progresses and you get indoctrinated, you get indoctrinated, excuse me, the world, they kill your imagination and things like that. Then it's like you get less and you have less and less knowledge of that life. You have less on you're less in touch with your dreams. Your dreams now seem less realistic. They seem impossible to achieve. Like it reminds me of that. It feels like you're coming back into the innocence you were born into, but with more wisdom, right? Because after you know better you can't go back right so after you've experienced certain things like the wisdom integrates within you it integrates within your higher self right so it's like you're coming back to a place of innocence but that place of innocence is where your dreams are it's where your inspirations are it's where your your deep blind faith is that you are innately connected to as a sagittarius period with that jupiter connection okay um yeah, there could be some unexpected like communication. Uh, we do have Mercury conjuncting Uranus. Okay, it's actually today too. Okay, all right, let's tap in. Yeah, and and it's interesting that that card said less um, pain but more gain, and that's what we've been talking about for you guys, especially those of you who are leaving certain work fields or jobs. It's not for you to listen. See, this is why I feel like spirit has been coming down so hard because the universe loves you. <laughs> Your guides love you, okay? Your spirit team loves you. This is not for you to go from one job that's beating your back down just to hop into the next one. The spirit wants you to hop out of the, the timeline completely, okay? To integrate to the new timeline completely where you truly believe that that laborious type of work or whatever it is maybe it's not work for you maybe whatever it is okay well you truly believe that it's possible exactly the six of pentacles where you truly believe okay like that things can come to you in easier ways and, and you're still just as worthy of it 
Okay, excuse me, Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, Spirit tells me with the Knight of Wands in reverse, this is a deep uprooting, Sagittarius, of you getting out of survival mode. Okay, you getting out of fight or flight, fight, flight, or freeze mode. This is a deep, look, the death card on the bottom. This is a deep uprooting. The Hermit, where the shadows are, a deep uprooting. So this is in your subconscious as well. That's deep. Okay, but I also feel like the Sagittarius Collective that I've been reading for has also been doing a lot of shadow work, okay, on your money mindset, on how your relationship to money, how you view it, scarcity mindset, all that, imposter syndrome, poverty mindset, okay, you have the star, six of swords here, and the chariot, yeah, because listen, once you tap out of this energy, like once you learn whatever this big lesson is and i really feel like again it is all connected the money mindset for you guys um in this blind faith okay that i think the world has convinced you that you don't have you know the world has shaped that and spirit is trying to like get you back again to that who you truly are sag okay that pure innocence that optimism right like if Anybody's going to make something happen and believe in something that seems most out, outlandish to other people is going to be Sag energy, wherever it is in, in, in a person's chart. Okay. Justice card is here. Four of swords, all this Libra energy, South Node, <clears throat> and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So you have learned a lot about impulsiveness as well. And I think that could be where you are kind of holding yourself back because of the impulsive like nature that you may have had in the past and you feel like it it worked against you. Okay. Mm -hmm. The sun and the three of swords. And I feel like you have lived through and learned those lessons. So what is the difference here, spirit? Because I think I think that's the point at which a lot of this energy is stuck for Sag. Ace of Pentacles. The sun. You've been healing the money mindset. See, that's how deep this shit gets. Yes, it has everything to do with that. Your money mindset. I bet over time, over this time that you've been doing all this shadow work, you've also been seeing your um, business partnerships change. Even if you're not an entrepreneur, your work relationships, how you allow people to treat you for a check or just whatever. Just all of these things that are connected to your worth. And therefore, like your worth is how everything comes to you in this world. Right? You know, um, so within, so without, right? If we talk about manifestation and all that stuff. <clears throat> the difference is you have so much more knowledge now. Okay? It, especially when it comes to the material world. Okay, so... It, okay. So now I feel like spirit has been... I don't know. I think you guys are now merging the innate philosophical and spiritual wisdom that you came into this world with okay now you are integrating that with all of the 3d knowledge that you've had right because i feel like both of those could have gone overboard right past the point of moderation which sagittarius also represents temperance <clears throat> so it's like when you were in the imaginative woo woo you know that could the, the pendulum swung too far you could have gone overboard with that but also being in the 3d sometimes we get too caught up in this 3d mess and not real and, and not understanding that it is just um a projection you know it is just a game at the end of the day we are spirits there is a spiritual element there are things called miracles you know so this is very deep for you guys like i feel like you guys are in a very transformative time in your life very pivotal point in your life um where you can choose to hop on a completely different timeline with completely different experiences that put you closer to though that what seems like an impossible life to other people or a comfort zone which i kind of feel like you've already decided that you're out of the comfort zone <laughs> you know um okay just the 
Thank you. Five of Swords, Page of Swords in reverse, and the Chariot. So again, this is speaking with two tongues. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> so I say two tongues, the two of cups, and the ace of swords, and the eight of pentacles. So again, that message is coming up, so I have to reiterate it. This is, if I could give an example, this is saying you don't want to do so. I actually feel like I just went through this test. Okay? Like, saying you're done with a certain thing, right? Like, you could say that to yourself all day, right? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Not doing it no more. Then the universe tests you on that. It says, okay, you're done. All right, cool. She's, she's ready to close this chapter. Let's see. So it sends something, okay, from that chapter that you're trying to close. Are you going to stand on business? Are you going to send a, a, a mixed signal to the universe and waver? And, well, you know, I might. Well, actually, I think I can't. Or is it just no? You know? Um, that could have to do with shame. Sag again so get clear about what it is that you want I feel like spirit is asking you a very existential question which is so Sagittarius like what kind of life do you want to live like how do you see it looking how do you feel in it you know what's your style like have fun go there go there without limitation and I think that's where spirit, there's something in that exercise. Like, really imagine that. Because a lot of you are talking to yourself off the ledge of faith. You know, you're like, you're dreaming and visualizing of this beautiful life. And then when it comes to, like, step into it, it's like, but, but, but. And, and I feel like you've kind of been pivoting there. Okay. Um, anything else that you want to leave the Sag with? No, we didn't just end like this. No, we didn't just, oh. No, we didn't just end with you in reverse. Temperance, the death card on the bottom of the deck, and the magician. This gives me like Cinderella, I don't know why it's giving Cinderella story. Why, how would that tie in? Like how I just saw that. Like, I just saw her go back to, like, when it hits midnight and she goes back to something. I do realize, like, you are meeting. It's like, it's like different, oh my God, it's like different versions of yourself are meeting up at a place in time. Like, I got the information we needed and I got this information and, like, you guys are meeting again. And it's like this familiarity, but a newness to it. Oh, that makes sense. I feel like if any if anybody's gonna make sense to it's gonna be a Sag. <laughs> okay. All right. Last pull. Last guidance card. Judgment and the world. I told you this is it. So this could also have something to do with Pluto and Capricorn because that is like the big planet that's retrograde right now. Um, yeah. So this is like the last. I was just telling my Scorpio friend, you know, we were talking about Pluto and what it's doing. And this is like the last house sweep, if you will. Okay. The last tying up of certain loose ends. Okay. Before Pluto really takes us on this journey through Aquarius. So that's what I have for you, Sag, to be continued. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Please don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share with your Sagittarius friends. All right. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.